Chapter 334. Final battle. TL by Bagelson. Bibi Dong didn't quite dare believe her eyes. By relying on their formidable divine power, she and Chen Renshu had completely recovered their strength over three days, but she had never expected to actually see Tang San again on this battlefield. The sea god that should have been extinguished, I knew he wouldn't die so easily. For some reason, when she saw Tang San again, Chen Renshu instead felt relief. And in front of the distant spirit empire camp, Bulina who looked as if she'd lost her soul shuddered violently. He, he's not dead. He's back again. Very surprising. Tang San smiled mildly. He seemed to have forgotten how he was miserably killed by Bibi Dong's hands three days ago. Bibi Dong and Chen Renshu now weren't wearing their divine raiment because they hadn't thought the Heaven Do Empire side could still have any means of resistance. Bibi Dong snorted coldly. So what if it's surprising? We could kill you once. We can kill you a second time. It seems I was careless. Back then I should have erased your body from this world. I didn't think your broken soul to somehow have a chance of reforming. I always thought highly of you, but now I guess I was wrong. If I were you, I definitely wouldn't reappear on the battlefield. Tang San gave a great Tang San gave a graceful smile, like he did back when he first left the Moon Pavilion. Unfortunately, you're not me, so I won't do what you would. Are you wondering why I didn't hide in Jolling Pass and wait to ambush you when you entered? Bibi Dong looked distracted. Can you read my mind? Tang San shook his head. No. I can't read the mind of a god, even if you're evil or a sully's the word god. I just understand your sly mind. The reason why I didn't ambush you is because I don't want to dirty the divinity I ascended to. If I did, I might not even defeat one of you. But now it's different. What you will face now is a sea god at his peak. I might die, but I'll definitely drag you away from this world with me. Bibi Don smiled, though with her present appearance, the smile was less than reassuring. Tang San, you want to attack me mentally? So what if you've reached your peak? Do you think you can stop me like that? Since that's the case, let me show you the true strength of the Rakshasa god. Dark purple gas swept out, shaking Bibi Dong. In a flash of purple light, two identical bodies appeared in midair. The Rakshasa raiment was equipped in a moment, and terrifying purple divine power spread out, hiding the sun and turning the sky gloomy. Chen Rinshu also equipped resplendent angelic raiment at the same moment. Her gaze turning cold. Last time she killed you. This time I'll be the one to end you, and me alone. Under the enormous pressure of facing two divinities simultaneously releasing their raiments, rays of blue energy burst from Tang San, circling around him as motes of blue starlight. The sea god raiment quietly appeared, but this time it was unexpectedly colored gold, without the need for the golden trident to transform it afterward. Tang San used real action to declare to the mother and daughter facing him that his weren't just empty words. The Rakshasa devil scythe and sacred angel sword simultaneously pointed at Tang San, and Tang San slowly raised the sea god trident in his hand high above his head. His eyes radiated sincere light, fixed on the sea god trident, and his divine intent instantly spread out like a boundless ocean. From Tang San, Bibi Dong and Chen Rinchu sensed a kind of nothingness. He was obviously there, and the sea god's divine power didn't pressure them even a bit. But precisely so, the Rakshasa god and angel god soul still seemed to be suppressed by something, making their divine intent unable to completely comprehend and coordinate their strength. Bibi Dong understood that Tang San wasn't Exaggerating. Right now, his level really was above hers and Chen Rin Shu's. The eight sea god wings on Tang San's back had now also changed. The four wings on either side had somehow fused together, going from the original eight to two enormous golden wings, practically hiding everything behind him. The moment those two enormous wings beat, the sky that had been colored dark purple by the Rakshasa divine energy instantly returned to blue. Infinite blue light seemed to cover the whole world. When Tang San looked devotedly at the golden trident he had called out, called to the power of the ocean, this blue light was the energy of the sea. The sky was blue, but there was still no sun. The enormous sea god power actually forcefully blocked the light of the sun. Bibi Dong took the Bibi Dong took the initiative. The two figures she had turned into instantly produced two purple shadows that charged forward and pressed towards Tang San with earth shattering evil energy to envelop him. The massive evil energy seemed about to swallow both Tang San and all the color of the sky. Even though Chen Rinchu didn't agree with Bibi Dong, she still knew that if she didn't join in, Bibi Dong would find it very difficult to beat Tang San. Unifying the continent wasn't just Bibi Dong's ambition, she also had the wish her grandfather left her. She absolutely couldn't go against it. Body and sword united, Chen Rinchu's whole body became one with the sacred angelic sword in her hand, turning into an enormous golden sword that shot at Tang San from the sky. Mother and daughter had instantly imperceptibly formed a three-pronged attack. Clearly, after several encounters, Chen Rinchu had also reached an all-new understanding and control over the angelic power. Facing their attack, Tang San felt no fear. He was much calmer now than three days ago. A cold gaze lingered in his eyes. The golden trident in his hand quietly stirred, sending out rings of golden light straight towards Chen Rinchu. Meanwhile, Tang San became hazy in the air and actually also turned into two figures. Without paying attention to the result of those golden rings, his two selves went to meet Bibi Dong's two-sided attack. Ring, the angelic sword in Chen Rinchu's hand quivered violently as a difficult to describe peculiar feeling instantly spread through her whole body. Chen Rinchu clearly noticed that she had lost the ability to move and could only maintain her attack pose motionlessly in the air. Under ordinary circumstances, she might have been able to use the true sun flame's power to attack the fetters, but right now there was no sunlight to borrow, and breaking through with her own power wouldn't be done in an instant. Unfixed storm. For the first time, Tang San used the golden thirteen halberds first form to trap a god. As his level and divine power had fully surpassed Chen Rinchu, he had this strength. Were Bibi Dong not here and he could face Chen Rinchu with his full power, he wouldn't even need to hide the sun to do the same. Of course, it was impossible for unfixed storm to trap Chen Rinchu for eight seconds. It would last at most a breath, but this was sufficient for Tang San. The golden trident met the Rakshasa devil scythe. Resounding clangs echoed as the polearm tightly locked down the scythe, and Tang San and Bibi Dong's two shadows met each other. Golden and dark purple light burst out near simultaneously. Weapons like tridents restrained most other weapons, and the devil scythe was of course no exception. It could also lock down the opponent's weapon. Of the two shadows, Tang San and Bibi Dong had split into one was their real body, and the other was condensed from their god level spirits. Only those with twin spirits had such an ability. But the circumstances were beyond anyone's expectations. The shining golden trident did lock down the Rakshasa devil scythe. But the next moment, the situation turned around. Two golden rays of light shot towards the sky. The golden tridents were actually knocked free and high into the air, like two dragons soaring towards freedom. Bibi Dong smiled coldly. Ah, Tang San, your mind is indeed stronger than mine. But I gain my inheritance at rank 99. Inheritance at rank 99. My divine power is deeper than yours. Now show me how you'll still fight. The dark purple devil side once again slashed at Tang San's chest. With the experience from three days ago, the sea god Raymond would without a doubt be unable to stop the divine weapon attack. The instant the golden trident was lost, Tang San seemed to follow inertia, spinning around. As the two clones moved identically, in the high speed revolution, he actually dodged Bibi Dong's first attack. Bibi Dong reacted quickly. As soon as the side failed to hit Tang San, it immediately turned into a horizontal sweep to bisect him at the waist. It was also at this moment that a speck of golden light suddenly flew out from the two spinning Tang Sans, looking much like water droplets, each headed straight for a Bibi Dong. Bibi Dong practically subconsciously raised her other hand to catch that golden light, while the devil side still slashed at Tang San without hesitating. Careful, don't catch it. Chen Rinchu finally regained the ability to move, and seeing those two golden lights flying at Bibi Dong she near subconsciously yelled out. She also instantly charged toward one Bibi Dong, shoulder tackling her away. The one she chose was Bibi Dong's main body, and not the spirit condensed one. Even Chen Rinchu herself didn't know why she did
this was real, a moment ago she had clearly felt the threat of death. In fact, while her spirit plane was condensed from divine power in her mind, it was still no different from her main body, identical in both offense and defense. If Chen Rinshu had been one step late or maybe didn't knock her away, without a doubt her main body would have ended up exactly the same as the spirit clone, crushed in the air. Golden light sparkled as the two Tangzans merged. On the waist armor of Tangzan's sea god raiment was a large crack, and while the skin underneath was unbroken, it sparkled with purple energy, clearly corroded by the Rakshasa god's evil power. Gazing at the uncertain Bibi Dong in the distance, Tangzan sighed, blood is thicker than water, I overlooked family affection. She is after all your daughter. I originally thought she would use this opportunity to kill me. As long as you die and I die, this world would be hers. Chen Rinshu, I've misjudged you. Tang San seemed unconcerned, but everything that just happened was within his plans. Even Chen Rinshu's ultimate actions. There was no mistake in his judgment in how long and fixed Storm could stop her. He clearly knew how nasty Chen Rinshu and Bibi Dong's relationship was, even to the point of fighting to the death. With his quick spinning, he could certainly evade the Rakshasa devil. Rakshasa devil sights damage to the greatest extent, and at the same time he issued Guanyin tears formed from divine power. The sea god never lacked for water, and Tang San's two drops of Guanyin tears were the best essence of water. When condensed entirely from divine power, how could they be so easy to block? Chen Rinshu once suffered due to them, and so she recognized them at a glance. If at that time Chen Rinshu had attacked Tang San, he could not only have perfectly killed Bibi Dong, but at the same time he also had a backup. His spirit and main body could change places, something Bibi Dong was incapable of. Tang San's unfixed storm would only trap Chen Rinshu for the duration of a breath, but as long as she didn't save Bibi Dong and tried to kill him, the result would be Bibi Dong's death and the destruction of Tang San's spirit form. Even though it would lower his strength against Chen Rinshu, who was clearly inferior to Bibi Dong, and who also had the seed of defeat in her heart, he had a very good odds. At least dying together wouldn't be a problem. But all this was ruined by Chen Rinshu's instinct. Bibi Dong was admittedly wounded by the destruction of the spirit body, but Tang San also spent a considerable amount of divine power on the two god level Guanyin tears, and the wound on his waist would also inhibit his divine power use. Neither side had gotten much of an advantage, and when facing two opponents, Tang San being injured was certainly unfavorable. Two figures condensing into one, Tang San shifted the sea god tried to his left hand, swiping his right over the wound at his waist, erasing the Rakshasa god's divine power. The giant wings on his back unfolded, immediately absorbing a portion of the blue light spread in the air. Bibi Dong's dark purple energy was visibly diminished. Looking at Chen Rinchu next to her, her eyes sparkled. You. Chen Rinshu didn't deign to glance at her, fixing her eyes in Tang San's direction. We can't give him any chances, he's too crafty. We have to use pure energy impact attacks to avoid getting caught in his traps. N. Unexpectedly, this time Bibi Dong didn't argue with Chen Rinshu. Of course she didn't change because Chen Rinshu just saved her. But looking at this beautiful daughter, a kind of unprecedented feeling arose. For years, no matter what she had done, her heart had been encased in ice. But just now when Chen Rinshu knocked her out of danger, Bibi Dong discovered that there was a trace of warmth in her heart. Boom, dark purple and golden light rose near simultaneously. Bibi Dong and Chen Rinshu stood shoulder to shoulder. They were in no rush to attack, but their powerful divine senses were completely released. The enormous pressure made all the soldiers in Jolin Pass feel powerless. Tang San could clearly see countless streams of dark purple energy condensed towards Bibi Dong from all directions. She was clearly recovering her strength, and this dark purple energy was all the grievances on this Dulu continent. Of this, the most significant light came from Jolin Pass. It was the rancor of all those that died miserably from poison Dulu's poison in the battle three days Battle three days ago, just like the sea god could draw strength from the ocean and the angel god obtained the true sun fire from the sun, this Rakshasa god could also draw out the deepest, darkest thoughts of all things, whether living or dead. These thoughts turned into the Rakshasa god's divine power. These grudges were far more enormous than faith, but they couldn't last long. But these grudges were clearly more powerful over the span of a single battle. No fish live where the water is too clear, and in particular, Jolin Pass, where large numbers of spirit empire soldiers died from poison just a few days ago, would obviously hold grudges. At this moment, Jolin Pass was undoubtedly Bibi Dong's ideal battlefield. Tang San clearly knew how unfavorable it was to him to let Bibi Dong recover, but he still couldn't act rashly. With Bibi Dong and Chen Rinchu standing there right now, even though their divine power was incompatible, their divine senses were still tightly linked. As soon as one moved, the other would follow. As long as he did attack, he would definitely be met with Bibi Dong and her daughter's joint counterattack. Tang San least wanted to see their combined, and there was no opportunity to target them separately. And the reason Tang San didn't foresee these circumstances was entirely because Chen Rinshu's subconscious rescue, the affinity of blood pulling events out of his control. As the eight Rakshasa devil sides on her back flew out and merged with the devil side in her hand, Bibi Dong's eyes never left Tang San, but the side she held suddenly flew up towards the sky. Surging dark purple light instantly erupted, and the tremendous grudges in the air bared their fangs like an evil spirit. The blue barrier of light Tang San had formed in the air immediately trembled violently. The Rakshasa god's divine power really had a powerful pressuring effect on the majority of divinities. It backslashes evil intent far more dreadful than the power of the god of angels. As long as you were at all tainted by it, it would take an enormous divine intent to expel it. Tang San drew a deep breath, the giant wings on his back beating, and the blue light in the air shot down like the Milky Way through the nine heavens, merging into Tang San's body through his back. Light immediately exploded from him once again, as if it had never been consumed previously. However, the hidden sun once again appeared in the sky. Having reached her goal, Bibi Dong immediately withdrew that enormous evil Rakshasa power into herself. Being roasted by the sun wasn't favorable to her. With the sun shining over all things, Chen Rinshu immediately rallied. With a glance at Bibi Dong, she aimed her sacred angelic sword high, and true sunfire surged down as the golden red patterns on her angelic raiment once again showed themselves. Tang San's grip on the sea god tried to tighten unconsciously, a trace of despair spreading from his heart. He knew that his chances were diminishing. His only favorable factor of the disagreement between mother and daughter was gone. When two true gods abandoned their preconceived notions and truly cooperated, how could he alone match them? Bibi Dong and Chen Rinshu began to move. They slowly flew forward, even slower than an ordinary flying type spirit master. But the energy they radiated still spread out like a physical object, pressing forward bit by bit. The angelic god and Rakshasa God condensed their divine powers together into one to slowly press forward with only press forward with only one purpose, not to give Tang San any chance of making a comeback. God level pressure focused entirely on Tang San, the divine intent reserved within themselves. When they acted, it would be a strike like thunder. The wings on Tang San's back kept beating, evolving yet again, giving these wings evolved from the eight spider lances yet stronger ability of absorption. Specks of blue light were visibly merging into Tang San's golden body from the air. Every pattern line on the sea god raiment also blossoming with dazzling radiance. Above the golden trident, circle after circle rippled out, and mist of golden light began to flow from within Tang San. This was divine power so rich that even his strength wasn't enough to completely sustain it, but he was still slowly pulling back. Under the angelic god and Rakshasa god's combined divine power pressure, he was slowly but uncontrollably retreating. On Jolin Pass, everyone's hearts had risen into their throats. The events from three days ago seemed to be about to reoccur. Despite Tang San being steadier than that day, they still clearly saw that Bibi Dong and Chen Rinshu were different from three days ago, no longer at each other's throats, but rather truly united, facing Tang San together. Grandmaster painfully closed his eyes. He truly, truly hated how he wasn't strong enough to go to Tang San's aid. Shui Bang's eyes were wide open, his fists clenched, his forehead showing
trident in his left hand, the sea god Raymond on his left arm instantly flashed with overflowing light. The golden trident and his left arm seemed to fuse together, at the same time as he raised his right hand, beams of golden light gathering in his palm. With a growl, Tang San shot forward like an arrow. Under the god level pressure and even facing two gods, it was impossible to reach speeds of instant teleportation. Their three divine domains clashed, making even the air dense. Relying on his burning golden flame, Tang San forcibly split the resistance in front of him, his eyes bright as stars as he moved towards Chen Ring Shu and Bibi Dong. Chen Ring Shu grips the sacred angelic sword with both hands, the true sunfire rising with a loud rumble, infusing golden red flame into the sword. She aimed it at Tang San and a surge of scorching energy erupted in the air. Bibi Dong's giant devil side also lit up, but it instead burned with infinite grudges and wickedness. Wickedness, making the flame appear green. The mother and daughter pair also sped forward at the same time, rushing to meet Tang San. This direct clash was just what they wanted. The two sides closed in on each other. Tang San stand as cold as an eternal glacier. His divine intent already soaked in a special state, turning infinitely calm. Only like this will you have a chance to grab a thread of hope for victory if it appeared. The Rakshasa devil side clad in cruel green flame, and the sacred angelic sword clad in golden red fire struck practically simultaneously. Chen Ring Shu stabbed upward, while Bibi Dong's devil side slashed straight down, attacking from above and below. The three gods clashed in the blink of an eye. Tang San swung the sea god trident in his left hand upward with all his strength, while his left hand launched a speck of golden light straight at Chen Ring Shu. Chen Ring Shu leapt with fright. Tang San's tears really had left too deep of an impression on her, especially the god level one that had nearly killed Bibi Dong earlier. When used, it didn't show even a hint of divine power, or it wouldn't have been able to fool Bibi Dong. With a loud blast, Bibi Dong's Rakshasa devil side and Tang San's sea god tried and struck each other. Golden flame and that miserable green one erupted at the same time, shooting in every direction as countless specks of light. And Chen Ring Shu had no choice but to turn her sword to hold it horizontally in front of her, erupting with true sunfire to eliminate the golden light. Tang San's ability to create opportunities really was too powerful. Even ambushed by two gods, he could still rely on his formidable strength to forge an instant of opportunity. Bibi Dong's Rakshasa devil side was actually completely knocked back by his sea god trident, leaving her chest wide open. And that golden light launched from his right hand disappeared immediately on contact with Chen Ring Shu's true sunfire. Not good, a trick. Chen Ring Shu reacted immediately, but Bibi Dong had already been exposed. Tang San was walking on a knife's edge. All his divine power was actually focused on the golden trident as well as the gravity control ability in his left arm, making the trident ten times as heavy, more than a million jin. Even if Bibi Dong also struck with all her strength, could she ever have expected Tang San to abandon all defenses against Chen Rinshu to instead target her? The Rakshasa devil side was knocked clear, immediately exposing a major flaw. Tang San exploited Chen Rinshu's fears. Even if she knew that he might fake using Guanyin tears, she would still subconsciously defend herself. Otherwise, if her sacred angelic sword had attacked him regardless of everything, Tang San would now be skewered, forced to the brink. What Tang San now used was a kind of strategy taught to him by Grandmaster, a fighting style he had never used before called tightrope style. A tightrope style where he might at any moment lose balance and collapse, as well as a tightrope style where he could use his abilities to the limit. Chen Rinshu's reaction was in no way slow. After discovering the trick, the sword in her hand instantly moved again, slashing straight at Tang San's chest. The moment Tang San's tried to clear away Bibi Dong's Rakshasa devil side, his left hand took advantage and pressed forward again. The tip of the golden trident pointing straight at Bibi Dong's chest armor. At the same time, his right hand swept in a circle, and with a clear and resonant cry, a giant golden dragon burst from his right shoulder. The golden dragon was crushed by the sacred angelic sword's true sunfire in just an instant, but it also halted Chen Rinchu's movements for a moment. The sacred angelic sword couldn't stab Tang San, but rather struck his waist, just where Bibi Dong had wounded him before. Tang San grunted as he was knocked away as if struck by a whip, and on the other side, as his golden trident hit Bibi Dong, her body exploded with a bang, turning into countless dark purple energy ripples in the air. That dark purple energy recondensed again at the same time as Tang San was knocked away. The Rakshasa devil side still hadn't returned to Bibi Dong's hand, and with an extremely unsightly expression, she tightened both her fists, swinging at Tang San. A giant dark purple ball of light caught, caught up to him in the air, exploding and smashing him at Jolin Pass. There definitely wasn't any flaw in Tang San's plans. However, he was still facing two gods. At the crucial moment, Bibi Dong had used her secret technique from when she was still a spirit master, undying form, forcibly transforming into energy in order to dodge as much of Tang San's sea god trident strike as possible. Of course, it was impossible to escape the sea god's divine power eruption, but at least she could dodge the physical attack of the million Jin sea god trident. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below with suggestions on what novels to read.